After letting go of a ledge, you can't grab it again for almost one second. To be exact, for 55 frames. The same rule also applies after you receive any kind of knockback. Especially very small knockback can either screw you or help you out depending on which side of the stage you are on. I'm C5 from the Beefy Smash Dudes and I know that this is no new discovery or anything and a lot of you probably know about this already. But it's also important to be aware of it while playing and to know how to avoid getting gimped because of it or how to use it against an opponent. There are basically two ways this can screw you, either because you fall past the ledge without a jump or no good recovery move, or you use your recovery move too quickly after being hit so that you overshoot the ledge, making you an easy target. Avoiding both of these is actually pretty easy. You simply have to remember it while playing and time your recovery move correctly. The downside is just that it often forces you to use your up special. You can sometimes avoid that by stalling with a different move until the 50 frames are over. Now, if we look at the offensive side of this mechanic, things get a little more interesting. You can actually use it to your advantage pretty well. If you have a projectile or jabs that apply only very little knockback, you can often catch your opponents and watch them fall right past the ledge. It works especially well against horizontal recovery moves or badly executed double jumps. The important part here is what you do afterwards and there are pretty much two options for you. Number one, you wait for them to overshoot the ledge, preferably while shielding since most recovery moves have a hitbox. But of course you can punish them however you want if you read it. Now, whether or not they will actually do a mistake like that is another question. It just depends on how experienced your opponent is. But even if they use something to delay their fall, like a different special move for example, you can also punish that if you react fast enough. The second option is a bit more aggressive and requires you to go off stage. Since your opponent will fall past the ledge, you can immediately follow and surprise them with a the back air to maybe get a stage spike. They could avoid it by air dodging or even attacking you, but a lot of players won't do so because they either expect to grab the ledge or just wait for the right timing to recover with their up B to sweet spot it. This gives you a small window that you can punish with a possible stage spike. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video, hit us with any of your questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy.